words of Sri Aurobindo from the book The Mother, Part Two, Letters on the Mother by Our Lord, Chapter Six, Working of the Mother's Force, Page One Fifty, Topic. Psychic openness to the mother's force. Sri Aurobindo says, What is needed is to profit by the discovery and get rid of the impediment. The mother did not merely point out the impediment. She showed you very expressly how to get rid of it and at that time you understood her. Though now, at the time of writing your letter to me, the light which you saw seems to have been clouded by your indulging your vital more and more in the bitter pastime of sadness. That was quite natural, for that is the result sadness always does bring. It is the reason why I object to the gospel of sorrow and to any sadhana which makes sorrow one of its main plans, Abhimana, Revolt, Viraha. For sorrow is not, as Spinoza pointed out, a passage to a greater perfection, a way to Siddhi. It cannot be, for it confuses and weakens and distracts the mind, depresses the vital force, darkens the spirit. A relapse from joy and vital elasticity and ananda to sorrow, self-distrust, despondency and weakness is a recoil from a greater to a lesser consciousness. The habit of these moods show a clinging of something in the vital to the smaller, obscurer, dark and distressed moment out of which it is the very aim of yoga to rise. It is therefore quite incorrect to say that the mother took away the wrong key with which you were trying to open the fairy palace and left you with none at all. For she not only showed you the true key but gave it to you. It was not a mere vague exhortation to cheerfulness she gave you, but she described exactly the condition felt in the right kind of meditation. A state of inner rest, not of straining, of quiet opening, not of eager or desperate pulling, a harmonious giving of oneself to the divine force for its working, and in that quietude, a sense of the force working and a restful confidence allowing it to act without any unquiet interference. And she asked you, you, f you had not experienced that condition and you said you had and knew it very well. Now that condition is the beginning of the psychic opening and if you have had it, you know what the psychic opening is. There is of course much more that afterwards comes to complete it, but this is the fundamental condition into which all the rest can most easily come. What you should have done was to keep the key the mother gave you present in your consciousness and apply it, not to go back and allow sadness and the repining view of the past to grow upon you. In this condition, which we term the right or the psychic attitude, there may and will be call prayer, aspiration, 
intensity concentration will come of themselves not by a hard effort or a tense strain on the nature rejection of wrong moments frank confession of defects are not only not incompatible but helpful to it but this attitude makes the rejection the confession easy spontaneous entirely complete and sincere and effective that is the experience of all who have consented to take this attitude i may say in passing that consciousness and receptivity are not the same thing one may be receptive yet externally unaware of how things are being done and of what is being done the force works as i have repeatedly written behind the veil the results remain packed behind and come out afterwards often slowly little by little until there is so much pressure that it breaks through somehow and forces itself upon the external nature there lies the difference between a mental and a vital straining and pulling and a spontaneous psychic openness and it is not at all the first time that we have spoken of the difference the mother and myself have written and spoken of it times without number and we have deprecated pulling and straining and advocated the attitude of psychic openness it is not really a question of the right or the wrong key but of putting the key in the lock in the right or the wrong way either because of some difficulty you try to force the lock turning the key key this way and that with violence or confidently and quietly give it the right turn and the door opens date 5th may 1932